Hi everyone, this is your interviewer Farah and I'm here at the Education 2.0 Conference Dubai with Dr. Christine King. Uh, I'd like to congratulate you for receiving the Outstanding Leadership Award. Uh, could you please share with us how it felt? Oh, look, it's really, it was really exciting and I was humbled to get it too. It's really been apparent at this conference and it's been mentioned a number of times that educators often don't get recognition. They're often on the ground yeah. doing things there, and they're also being strategic thinkers so they're always juggling the, the strategic thinking with the doing and don't really get much time for anything else so um, recognition isn't something that that uh, a lot of us get. I'm sure it must yeah. have been very rewarding to yeah, receive that. Yeah it's rewarding because uh, I, for me personally I've devoted my life to uh, facilitating uh, uh, learning that creates real global change and for me that that uh, has been a lot of sleepless nights yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> and, a, and a lot of work and a lot of travel and you know a lot of uh, you know a, a lot of juggling a lot of balancing uh, particularly not not initially in my career yeah. but now as a mum it it, it uh, requires a lot of work yeah Thank you so much for all the work that you do. Uh, could you share a bit with us, uh, what areas of education do you specialize in? I work in uh, the area of any sort of learning and learning processes, methods, methodologies that enable real systemic uh, deep learning, systemic change. So I guess when I first started, I learned, you know, I did education work and I learned fairly quickly that a lot of learning processes uh, were basically for really simple learning and simple situations and I was working in really large complex you know multi-stakeholder projects where we had competing interests we had issues around culture we had issues around gender yeah. and and I really needed to find other types of learning processes and methods and and techniques that could deal with complexity and 30 years ago that's what I embarked on that's what I focused on um, so you know for people watching things like I've worked a lot in single double and triple loop learning first second and third order learning discovery learning deep level learning you know the, the list this goes on a lot of action research work that I've done participant action research adaptive management um, so things that actually, you know, create change uh, where there's often, you know, competing values and competing interests. Yeah. And since you've spoken about uh, change and changing lives, how do you think that the education industry is transforming lives globally? Well, <laughs> it's a big question. Um, look, we're at a stage now where we know that change is happening and there's a lot of complexity that we're having to deal with and we know that our environments are not just complicated, not just complex, but also chaotic. So we're dealing with those Definitely. three things, right? Yeah. Complicated, complex and chaotic. And those require a whole range of different tools and it's the education and learning people, the specialists in that, that are going to facilitate the environments for the learning processes required to actually deal with that complexity. And I, I'm not sure, um, you know, around looking at the other disciplines, and I've worked in the other disciplines, um, I think it's the educators and learners that are going to lead that area. And if you could give uh, people three insights about learning and change based on your experience in this field and your years of, uh, you know, dealing yeah. with all sorts of things, yes. uh, <laughs> what would these insights be? Yeah. Look, I think the first one um, is that people only ever make a change or you know a complex change themselves if they actually discover you know the value of making that change for themselves so you would know and everybody knows Definitely. that people don't make a change if we tell them to unless it's a simple thing yeah. <laughs> so, so you know the role for for learning specialists and learning facilitators and educators is to put in place those processes where people can do those aha moments and discover learning for themselves. Uh, the second one, I think I wrote, I wrote a couple of things down, but things like um, learning to learn, 
learning about learning, people understanding uh, how they learn, all of those things should be core in education. They're the things that are going to move us forward, people understanding those things. I think we've spent a lot of time you know, in the past hundred years learning about things. Yeah. <laughs> um, but now we have to start learning about learning and we have to move from, you know, d doing the what and start focusing on the how and, you know, learning how to learn. Look, I've, um, and I think this one's really important. So I focus on educators and learners, but I, I come from a, my initial degree was in agriculture and environmental science and I, took an interest really early on around natural ecological systems and how they function and there's been a lot of work over the years done on looking at how these you know resilient and robust natural ecological systems like rainforests and yeah. you know um, how they uh, can adapt through disturbance and you know mm -hmm. turbulence and and I think you know we've there's a real challenge for us to actually understand the processes of, that happen in those systems and then translate that over to people systems because if we look at those systems there's a you know there's all living organisms there's relationships between them they work in a certain way and they're robust and sustainable and yet now we've got these uh, systems people systems um, that aren't we're finding out aren't so robust anymore. So we need to learn from nature to uh, to kind of move forward in that area, I think. That's a very interesting take to look at nature and try to apply something of that into education. I don't think I've ever heard that before. Yeah, uh, it's a for me it's a guiding, you know, it's a guiding principle. If, yeah. if you ever get lost and yeah. can't work out, you know, you're working on some sort of problem in the educational landscape mm -hmm. and it, and most problems as we know are people problems and yeah. <laughs> relationship problems <laughs> then you look at the relationships that exist in nature things like flexibility adaptability right. symbiosis yeah. um, there's a whole range of things um, that exist even nested systems all of those things help us uh, understand and give us uh, a way to design people systems that will yeah. function better yeah, that's true. There's a lot that we can definitely yeah. learn from nature and integrate into our lives. Yeah, yeah. So how have you been enjoying the conference so far? Did you get to speak to a lot of people here? Yeah, I've spoken to a lot of people. The exciting thing about this conference is, uh, I guess, the interdisciplinary nature of it. If you can say it's interdisciplinary because it's focused on educators, um, yeah. maybe people watching don't realise that there's a number of uh, conferences happening at right. the same time. Yes. Um, just down from us there's a health conference, there's a business conference, there's a yeah. leaders conference and we've all been sharing morning teas and afternoon teas and, <laughs> and so that inter interdisciplinary nature of it has been fantastic. Um, in terms of sharing, yeah, that's, it's been exciting. I, I've got to, um, I've actually got a plenary this afternoon with a group and even yeah. just that process of developing that together has been exciting. Uh, and that is is about nature. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it is. Yeah. So we, um, you know, I've just I've found the the conference, you know, inspiring. Really, I think the organisers have done a wonderful job. We're thrilled to know that you're having a good time, and hopefully the rest of the days go great as well. Yeah. Uh, now, if people would like to reach out to you for a chat or advice, where can they find yeah. you? Google me. That's it. <laughs> you just need to Google my name. Perfect. You'll find me. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So, Dr. So Dr. Christine. Com, I think, but mm -hmm. you'll you'll find me in somewhere on Google. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Christine. It's All been right. a pleasure, and congrats again. Yeah, lovely to talk to you. Lovely to talk to you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.